Yo, yo, what's going on, my brothers and sisters? Hope you guys are having a good day today so far. Hope everybody's doing well out there, you know? Um, So I wasn't going to do this because, like I said, I stopped reviewing this show for a reason. <laughs> like, I feel like you can't say nothing bad about this junk. But, you know, people's like, come on, bro. Can, can uh, you at least do a season review? Because <laughs> some, some people did miss, you know, my reviews. Cause I, I think I stopped uh, reviewing this show after episode four. Season one just ended uh, this past Sunday. Um, Ended. It, it just felt like this jump went by quick as freak. But uh, so, yeah, since it just ended, I was like, you know what? I could do a uh, season review for the show. Um, you guys, as well, as always, leave uh, your thoughts and comments down in the comment section below. How did you feel about Last of Us uh, HBO Season 1? And yeah, let's hop straight into it. So overall, um, I am giving uh, Season 1 of HBO's Last of Us a 6 out of 10. That's just how I personally feel about it, okay? That's my opinion, <laughs> okay, of how I felt about the show and the overall nine episodes that this season had when when it, when i asked my chat some people were saying three out of ten four out of ten <laughs> you know some people said six seven eight i think even a few people said nine so i really feel like it depends on who you ask because again i feel like with this show you got like two crowds of people you got that one crowd that praises this show to the high heavens and says it's a masterpiece and it's one of the greatest tv shows ever and it's the best game adaptation out there and then you got that next crowd that's just like boy if you don't stop it <laughs> <laughs> you know and you know that's just what it is so despite what some people might think i never hated this show i never stopped watching this show like I just stopped reviewing <laughs> the show. I guess some people got like confused when when I said I was going to stop reviewing the show. I guess that meant like I didn't care about the show no more. No, I just stopped reviewing the show because I just got tired of seeing people cry in my comments because I didn't agree with them, <laughs> you know, so I stopped reviewing the show. I still enjoyed this show from the perspective of seeing one of your favorite seeing one of your favorite games recently transitioned over into live action i think that's cool and from that standpoint i enjoyed seeing this show you know whatever your favorite game is it could be metal gear you know uh uh, uh mass effect uh you know resistance uh, halo soak on whatever like just seeing you know like a game you really love transition over into live action that's cool to see so i still enjoyed this show from that standpoint Pedro Pascal, um, I thought he did a decent job as Joel, um, you know, and, and here's the thing, I know Pedro Pascal can act, I never said that these, I, I never said that these were bad actors, I know that Pedro Pascal can act, I know that Bella, I mean, I haven't really seen a lot of, of, of her work, but I know that she was in Game of Thrones. I know that she can act as well. And the other actors that they had in this show, you don't just freaking pick up someone off the street and be like, hey, you want to act in this? No, <laughs> like these people I know can act. And honestly, I don't know if I should put the blame on Neil for this, but, you know, he was saying like before this, this show started, I think Neil had actually instructed Pedro and Bella that he didn't even really force them to play the games because I don't think uh, Pedro or Bella played the games and Neil kind of preferred it that way because he wanted them to have their own kind of fresh take on Joel and Ellie and not be you know so 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 close to what Troy Baker and Ashley Johnson did as them which I get you know you don't want them to be like just try to act out and try and try to be exactly like them but at the same time it's like you can't even like play the game just to get an idea of like the character you're dealing with, <laughs> you know? So it's like, I feel like at times that's why I felt like Pedro Pascal's performance as Joel to me just felt very flat sometimes, watered down. You know, there were a few scenes where I'm like, okay, I see Joel. 
But then it was like, it was way more scenes where I just felt like his lines were flat. At times, it didn't even seem like he cared about it. <laughs> it didn't even seem like it didn't even seem like he cared about this damn character. You know, just just a watered down Joel. I felt like Bella Ramsey did a better job as playing Ellie than Pedro Pascal did as playing Joel. At times, she really like I I still remember. I think it was episode what one or two where like she had that first like moment of Ellie. I'm like, yo. That's Ellie. And I never really felt like that for Paige Roseanne. That's Joel. And, you know, again, do I put the blame on Neil for, you know, saying, oh, you guys don't don't know how to play the games. Just do your own fresh take. I don't know. Whatever. Hands down. This is not up for debate. This is not up for discussion. I mean, you could try to debate me, but it's going to fall on deaf ears. <laughs> uh, hands down down the best episode in this season say it with me episode five episode five was damn near flawless like that was the only episode that i can actually remember when i was watching it i was smiling through almost the entirety of the episode henry sam those actors did a great job. The bloater, the horde of infected, all of the action that was going on. That was the only episode that I truly felt like they didn't hold back on nothing. Like they gave you everything that Last of Us is. Action, uh, you know, anxiety, high emotion, adrenaline, like sad moments everything that last of us is was in that episode and i truly felt like that was the only i think i gave that episode like a nine or a 9.5 that was the only episode i damn near couldn't even say nothing bad about it and it was like crazy because i had stopped reviewing the show after episode four and then as soon as, <laughs> as soon as i stopped reviewing it five comes out and i'm like oh my god what did i just do this episode is amazing but then it went right back to being mid with six <laughs> you know so but yeah episode five was incredible prob uh, prob uh, probably right behind that was episode one I feel like those were the two best episodes in this season. The very first episode and episode five, especially. Going to the finale, though, uh, episode nine. Um, This episode was like, what, 40 or 45 minutes? Um, It's pretty much just like, you know, all of the stuff that happens in the hospital. And then Joel and Ellie, you know, have that, you know, conversation just like, you know, the end of the first game where... Ellie asked Joel, uh, tell uh, me that all of, you know, that all of the stuff that you're saying is true. And, you know, Joel says, I swear. And then Ellie's like, okay, you know, all that stuff happens, but it's just like, Joel literally does a speed run <laughs> through the hospital, killing all of the fireflies. And the way they do it is they just show you a slow motion montage of Joel just shooting all of the fireflies. He picks up Ellie, takes her out. So, again, that just goes back to me saying they had, they, they, they couldn't do nothing else because this junk was only nine episodes. They have to speed up all this junk because it's like they don't really have a lot of episodes to work with. And then at the same time, a lot of these episodes, again, for your finale to be only what, 40, 45 minutes, you can, so you can give episode three, the bill episode. I think that episode was like, what, an hour and 10, an hour and 15 minutes. You can give that episode an hour plus, but your finale is 45 minutes, 40 minutes. And again, it's not even like I'm hating on the Bill episode. I like that episode. I feel like more than a lot of other people did. <laughs> Some people despise that junk, you know, but yeah, it's just weird. You can give that episode. That episode didn't really do anything to progress the storyline in the actual show. That episode is literally just Bill and Frank loving on each other. And it's just like, you can give that episode an hour plus, but your finale and other big episodes only get 40, 45 minutes. 
Like, I just feel like their decision making with the runtime for some of these episodes, their decision making with just the length of this season is why I felt like how I felt. It's hard. You don't have a lot of time. <laughs> you don't have a lot of time. And because of that, these big impactful moments, like I said, they just feel sped through. They just feel like rush. We're trying to get to the next episode. We need to have this happen now. We can't spend too much time with this. And because of that, in my opinion, that hurt the overall season. That's just how I feel. So that was one of my main issues that I had with the show. Uh, another issue that I really had with this show that I didn't really, I mean, some people did mention it, but I don't, I don't see people mention this enough. Another one of the main issues that I had with this show was the lack of infected. Like, was it just me? But I really felt like they were just so shy about using the infected in this show this world the world of last of us in the game felt way more dangerous than the world of last of us in the show hell even the humans don't even really feel dangerous in other show but it was like especially with the infected like they would show the infected in one episode and then you wouldn't see them again until like two three episodes later it's like bro and that was another thing with the whole like Bro, this jump was on HBO. It wasn't like this jump was on like AMC or freaking FX or something. Like, why were they being so shy about like showing gore and showing blood? Like, bro, this is on HBO. Like, you suckers do know that this jump had Game Game of Thrones showing some of the most like <laughs> some of the most gory deaths ever. Like, I just didn't get that. Like, this really felt like a PG thirteen version of last of us uh, the last issue I, well this is not even really with with the show but again like when i do these reviews or whatever like please don't think that i'm trying to change your opinion or what you feel about the show bro if you love this show if you think that this show is a masterpiece and you like have a fun time watching this show what the frick are you going to listen to me for? <laughs> like, bro, it don't matter what. If if I enjoy something and I watch someone, you know, say that, hey, I didn't enjoy this, like, I just move on. <laughs> like, they, they, they are not going to, like, you know, ruin the experience for me. I just move on. Okay, he ain't like it. Like, I just didn't like how, like, people, again, could praise this show and say it's a masterpiece, whatever, whatever. And then if like they came across someone that disagrees with them and they have legit criticisms of the show, you just call them a nitpicker. You say, oh, you just want a one-to-one -one with uh, the game. Like, bro, that one, that's just a horrible like argument to have. Like you have nothing else to say, but oh, you're, oh, you're just a nitpicker. Like what? <laughs> I, I like people legit have criticisms of this show that i feel like are valid but because of you know this last of us bubble that we're in to where you can't hate on nothing last of us you know you're just dismissed as a nitpicker or you know you're, 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 you don't know what you're talking about shut up <clears throat> like it's just i i i found that incredibly annoying and again that has nothing to do with uh, the show but you know just like when like you have a community like this i guess with with last of us it is tough at times i feel like to be a legit fan of this series uh, bro, you, you still just have to remember if you've been subscribed to me for a while i am like one of the first last of us fans like i was on this game before this junk even was a was a thing <clears throat> like before this game came out when they first showed a trailer i'm like yo this gonna be that <laughs> this gonna be that next thing i'm one of the og last of us fans so i'd be dang if i have a sucker tell uh me oh you don't know what you, you don't know what you're talking about you're, you're just a nitpicker bro stop it <laughs> stop it right now you know but yeah again overall i am giving this season a six out of ten I do, I, I am now interested though, to see what they do with Last of Us Part 2. Um, I don't know 
if that's going to be just one season or are they going to stretch that into two or maybe three seasons? And like someone had uh, said, I don't know if this was in like a comment section on some vid that I was watching, but they but they were saying it have felt like Neil just wanted to like get this last of us one uh, 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 season over with so he uh could get to his baby uh last <laughs> so he could get the last of us to, to get the last of us part two he ain't lying i hope pacing wise um and runtime wise that they do a much better job with last of us part two in this show than they did with one because i really felt like at times they dropped the ball with last of us part one and just telling the overall story and you know uh yeah but that is how i felt about uh hbo's last of us season one uh what do you guys well what score would you guys give this overall season for uh hbo's last of us and how they handled last of us part one leave all your thoughts and comments down in the comment section below to the next video my brothers and sisters i'll catch up boys in my next one all right yeah.